All right, so uh, let's look just real quick. Let's see what the squid are being called on. If there's anything else that we should be thinking about using. So you've got the bonds. So it looks like any of the bond 125 series is also working as well as the dapper. So, you know, don't be afraid to try other lures out here to try to catch these as well. Oh, might be safer. I, I have a feeling these little, these little things, predators might really love these red bond. Okay. Two point one, two point four is blue is a rare trophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point, Biffer. It's like right now, bond is the most common lure being used on the on the water body. Yeah, that's fair, fair statement, right? So this will be turned into uh, large fillets. I'm learning. I'm learning. All right. So it's it's almost time to start the comp. Ultra space, if you could ready up. John, if you could ready up. Droz, if you could ready up. Uh, if you're just joining us and want to jump in really quick, you've got like 20 in-game minutes. Uh, the competition name is M Dog Stream. It's for the the largest squid. Um, first, second, third place will get a lure. And uh, we're starting it at 6 a.m. very soon. Uh, yeah, I'll show you the setup. This is what I'm using. The Jigmeister. It's not a jig. It's actually a uh, pilker lure. You don't want to reach the bottom. Fish, it, fish between 30 and 60 meters or 25, 60 meters, something like that. <laughs> I learned the fillets quick. I had a good teacher. But, but, but remember, you don't have to use this lure, you know, I mean, there's, there's plenty of lures. I'm sure you could catch these squid on. All right. We're going to start here. Uh, zap. I know you probably just came in. Yep. Ready up. Yep, good. Good luck, everybody. Catch them squid. Of course, I've got to pee as soon as I hit start. It's all right. Oh, this could be the first squid. Got it on the drop. So I have it clipped at 60. Oh, no, more bait. I have it clipped at 60 so that I can, um, uh, yeah, so just either catch it on the drop or since I'm using these fillet strips right now, I'm going to make some more of those. And then we're going to do a large fillet with this. So this should make, is it just, Two large with six or three? Four. Ooh, nice. Heck yeah. Yo, Sunja. Sunja's like crazy, crazy competition. Just got the got the uh the mojo working today. Sunja was wrecking in our last competition, top five the whole time. Trophies at two, and he called a 1.47. Wow. Burpee says, I swear his first fish last comp was a trophy safe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't remember, but yeah, it might have been. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to do short. Oh. Yeah, does anybody have any other suggestions for attraction other than, uh, I mean, I've been using the fillets. I guess I could test the small, small for a little bit. So I've actually got it clipped at 60. I've got it clipped at 60. Floro. Wait, what does that mean, Biffer? Fluoro is king for elements? What's a glow stick thing? I don't even know what we're talking about. Y'all are blowing my mind. Didn't I just catch a mackerel? All right, so 
this one is going to be one of these two. I don't know if I have many of these. I wish it would show how many are in your backpack. It doesn't though, does it? Wouldn't that be a cool thing? Wait, but that's not something I can use right now, right? Is that a certain type of rig or something? Wait, Pilker rig? Oh, you need 40%. Okay. It's a Pollock. So this is, oh, attraction elements. Oh, I got you. Is that what y'all are referring to? Traction elements, okay, and then auxiliary hook. Allows the use of an assist hook. Increases the likelihood and quality of hooking. Makes the pilker rig even more catchy. <laughs> Your bite rate changed overnight? Really? Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. I bet I'm not even in the right, but I still kind of am. I guess the current maybe slowed down a little bit. I've not been drifting as much. Y'all got some nice squids going. Yeah, so doing the regular perking versus the strong perking, it seems like my bite rate has gone up, but I also need to recognize that it's morning now, so that might also be a higher bite rate because of the time of day, right? Just not necessarily getting all squid. We're getting a lot of mackerel now. We're baiting up right now. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. So sun just still in first, but we've got several people on the board with squid now. Good. I was I was hoping that we'd have have some squid actually caught. I don't know about Bear Lake. You're not getting much right now. This is kind of a rough week to be um, trying to gather information about lower level specific maps, right? Just got less people testing for you. We are getting the bait right now. I love it. I mean, I'm actually still in a fine place. <laughs> 
Somebody asked about Amber earlier. I had to stop and think what that was. I'm level 22. Tips on where to level. Yeah. Trolling Corey, Bream at Old Berg. I, again, it's just, I have no idea what's popping off at the moment. A little focused on sea fishing lately. Y'all owe Jock 50% squid income. Yeah, if I was if 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 I was on an account that was less than 34, I would 100% be coming to this map. Just to try it out at least. I'm so glad that that option is there. It's a really smart thing to do. So if someone is fairly new to the game and happens to have started playing around the time this map came out, they can come experience what all the excitement's about. You know what I'm not doing? Because my brain's sort of checking out is I'm not changing elevation like I was before the comp started. Although, like y'all said, it's probably going to be pretty slow going until nighttime again. On squid, at least. I also should put the strips back on in case that increases the bite rate a little bit. Yo, so what happens, Snobby Steven, is when you do the um, when you do the rental, if you look at the details, you get access to the fishing boat. So you don't have to pay for the fishing boat while you're there. You get all of the tackle and lures you need to get started. And if something happens to one of those, it says that it will replace it, you know, if the equipment's damaged. So don't think of it as you're going to be using your current gear. You're actually not going to be you'll be using rental equipment for the duration. Yeah, there's no, you wouldn't want to do it if it didn't come with the gear. All right, I'm gonna take the clip off just to test because Burpee's saying there's some black rough at the bottom. And we know we're probably not gonna catch a lot of squid while the, um, while it's daytime although it is getting overcast if it gets even more overcast might increase the chances all right let's cut up some of this mackerel what was i going to do i was going to check to see under baits what my mackerel bait situation was to help make this decision so all, all i have right now is huge mackerel so i just need to start crafting both types of mackerel. Um, all right. So according to the according to the guide, I want to make strips and small out of these two mackerel. All right. We're we're still only at eighty five meters on our drop here.
So, Grim, just just as a heads up, it, it may be possible. Ooh, Ultra Space got really close, and also Zach got over a kilo. It may still be possible to catch them right now, but at least we think, and now that it's overcast, we think that they're more active at night. That's the thought right now. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can make anything happen down here. That was quick. Holy cow. Next, we need electric reels. Yes. Yes. I would say if you're if you're pretty low level uh, or fairly new to the game, try to watch a couple videos. You know, watch a stream, read the saltwater guide that they put on the RF4 forums. Just try to have a little bit of a game plan of what you think you're gonna do once you get to the map, because you are limited to those five hours, and so. The more time you can do your planning and thinking about it beforehand, that's probably a good idea. Ooh, it was a cusk down there. All right, I'm gonna cast this in and I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna take a quick bio break while this is sinking. I'll be right back. Yeah, I agree. This place is a good bait hole. <clears throat> I've caught so much uh, safe and especially mackerel. You would wonder if, and I don't know that this is the case, but you would wonder that if, if during the day the squid might go a little dark, uh, deeper. Thank you, Scotty.
climbing our way up here. Testing out five meters at a time. I really meant to put the strips back on though. Hopefully I'll remember. Have I caught any squid yet? Oh, I thought that was a fish. Uh, I've had one European squid, but that was before the comp started. There, I think they're going to be more likely at night though. So, let's see. Jesus Take the Wheelie Boy says, How do you feel about the balancing they did where you can't put your rod down to chase the fish without the boat? I mean, I think it would be nice if there was a way we could start the trolling motor with the, with the rod being in our hands. To me, that would be a nice compromise. Three pilka rods from shore with fillet rig getting loads of fish. Oh yeah, potato. I've heard once you unlock that and you can do it on three rods from shore that that's a great way to go. That's a, that's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah. I just don't have that unlocked yet. I also would have to purchase the rods, you know. So potato, when when he's doing that, is he is he holding any of them? Is he adjusting them or is he just letting them all float in the current basically? I'm going to go to 60 meters and I'm going to switch it to fillets. I'm going to try, um, I'm going to try mackerel fillet. Uh, sorry, strip, not fillet strip just on bottom. Yeah, that is so cool. I hope that doesn't change. I hope that's working as intended because that sounds so fun to mix up the fishing from the boat with some shore fishing. You can Y them. Oh, I got you. Why them? I know what you mean. Or or one real spill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It always has movement in the bottom layer. That's what I thought with the current. And I think that's sort of what they're intending, right? So that gives me hope that maybe that wouldn't get nerfed, but I don't know. I mean, I figure there's a lot of mackerel here, so fish have got to be eating the mackerel. You'd think mackerel strips would be a good idea in this spot. Oh yeah, if I had that unlocked potato, I would be all over trying that for sure. A good eyed? Oh, good idea. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? There we go. Bait or a squid? Bait it is. Maybe that mackerel was trying to escape from something.
this is not bad in terms of bite rate, just in terms of still getting some points. It's not too bad. It's it's not the same bite rate as what we were seeing with the, you know, other setups and some of the hot spots, but it's not like we're sitting here forever without a fish. Ooh, European hake. While it's still daytime, let's try one of the, um, let's try the bond. I was actually thinking about the, yeah, we'll try this one. So this is one of the ones, this is what the first place in this comp gets. The 125 one. See how this looks. Did I not put a fillet on there? Hey, there's a squid. I guess it is getting to mid afternoon. It's sunny though. It's kind of surprising. Hey, we caught something even without a fillet. Oh, it's another bait. Uh, yo, bad. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Am I out of mackerel fillets already? Which multiplier? Wait, what does that mean? Which multiplier? Casting reel? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not sure which is best. I haven't even looked into them, and I haven't heard either. I've heard they're good. I don't know which is the best, though. The albacore. Oh, look at these squid coming out. Hey, Grat's on level 39. Easy squid. <laughs> the squids are starting to come out. <laughs> there you go, Gino. Depends on what you have, huh? All right, let's see if this is a squid. Everybody else is catching them. Why not me? Well, it's bait. All right, so a lot of people have squid now. Sunja still in first place. We've only had three over a kilo, but a lot of squid are starting to come in. And now you know what to buy. Exactly. So we are out here around this 103 hole, which I need to actually put my boat in reverse a little bit here. And uh, you can use different different lures. The, um, the Jigmeister, the Bonds, the, the, uh, that red, other red one. You got a triumph. So how's the triumph?
Might cost more in repairs, but friction is the same as the Borealica. 400 kilo mech is plenty. And it holds 40% more line. Twat says, I got Borealica 30. It's very good. Hey! We got a Squidmeister. That was at 50 meters depth, by the way. Wait. Yeah, I guess I'll cast again here. I've kind of drifted off the hole, but not by much. Where's mine at? That puts me in 13th place. Yo, Mutton, I appreciate that. Nor Mutton, thank you. That's very kind words. Scotty just can't catch a squid, huh? Yes, the sonar seems to be very useful. The one uh, clarifying thing that Joe explained in the interview we did, and I need to go back and listen to it to see if I'm remembering correctly, but the idea was like when you're moving, you're getting a larger view of fish in the area. And as you slow down or stop, you're getting a much more specific narrow view, I guess, presumably below your boat. Because there were some questions about, like, as you slow down, it seems like fish are disappearing. And he said the way they, I guess, programmed it to work was using those parameters. But also helpful to remember that, technically speaking, it's not showing you fish that are there. It's showing you fish that could spawn once you've cast your bait or lure in. Because that's how fish spawning works in this game, right? So always helpful to keep that in mind. All right, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch back over to our uh, our Jigmeister. Oh, it's the Dapper. Well, uh, that's a big Dapper though. Two fifty. We'll try it for a minute. This might catch something I'm not ready for. We'll see. Fast boat covers more water, more fish on sonar. Boat stop covers less water, lower fish density on sonar. Yes, more like a spot radar. This is a much bigger lure, so never mind. I was going to say it might take a lot longer to get a bite, but yo, what's up, kiss? I would be I would be totally good with hooking into a swordfish as long as it's a fairly small swordfish. I mean it'd be fun to catch one. I don't necessarily want to fight a fish for I certainly I don't want to get spooled and I don't want to fight a fish for two hours, but 
small to moderate size. That'd be fun. I may just go ahead and change my clip to 50 or 55. I seem to be catching the fish once I bring the lure up a few meters more consistently than I am right at 60. Four hours yesterday, wow. Oh, he never got it in? That's crazy. That sounds huge. Oh, it's a little bigger squid. A little bigger squid. All right, let's change this to 55. 55 clip. So that's three squid. I mean, they are definitely here. Jock is, Jock and uh, Biffer definitely told us correct. Hey, there you go, Todd. So we're over here at the 103 in I-5. We're not at the bottom though. We're fishing like People are fishing between 25 and 60 meters down, I think, for the most part. It's overcast. It's getting to be later in the afternoon. Should see some more squid coming in in the comp. For some folks, at least. And I'm going to switch back to that Jigmeister soon. Jigmeister and then also back to strips, I think. Thanks for the follow, by the way, bad. I don't know if I missed that or not. Uh, Devagor, thanks for the follow. All right, I'm about to pull this in. We're up at 20 meters. Definitely seems like we've slowed down here. Oh, thank you for the follow. Ooh, at 
15 meters we hooked into something. Not a squid, though. Nice safe. Real nice safe. Oh, is that shark territory? All right, let's go back to Jigmeisters. Let's put some strips on there. Poor Beagles love it too. Addy got a one kilo. Wait, Addy, are you in our comp? <laughs> Learned it the hard way. Oh, you're not in, okay. Yes. Yeah, you can use something called Borderless Gaming. It's available on Steam. It might be available elsewhere as well. And there's probably other programs that do it. That's what I use, though. Chalk Starfish. No worries. This could be a squid or a really small bait. Looks like bait it is. Safe mackerel. Whoa, Bograto, 1.3 squid. And Vuko got almost to a kilo at 947. We've drifted a little. I need to refocus the boat. Too big to be a squid, right? <laughs> Seven point five squid.
All right, we're going to throw the 175 Jigmeister on just for a time here. See how it goes. Uh, squid, squid or tiny bait fish. Bait fish it is. Quick bite. One thing I have not had is any bites on the drop since that very first one, maybe. Not sure what to expect, but I approve. I like it. And they're worth a little bit of silver, right? Wow, 956 was 60. That's awesome.
Yo, Dead Hedge gets the trophy squid? No way. Grats. Well, there's one of the lures, right? He lands, he scores. That's right. That's sick. Slider for the boat engine, sound level. A little bigger mackerel. I mean, my guess would be yes. It's, I mean, they definitely have talked about, like, I just don't know how much of a priority it is. Hey, it's a huge mackerel. Uh, I don't remember. I'll do this one this time. I think I've done more fillets recently than... Goodness, we are hitting the mackerel. I am at 22.5. Wow, it has been going a lot faster today. I guess just I'm not thinking about it. I'm pretty sure we were at 8 or 9% when we started today. Alright, I, I feel like I was catching more on the fillets. I mean, on the strips, but that might have just been random. Yeah, but the boat engine slider would be nice. And I think they've heard that feedback for a long time now. I don't know if there's something tricky about it or what, but that definitely would be nice. I'm going to just go up to 25 and, or 20 or 30. Let's do 25. I'm just going to start at 25 this time. What about you, NR? What percent are you?
still no squid, Scotty. How far depth? What depth are you fishing at? I'm going to be curious to find out, you know, anybody that caught the big squid during this comp, if they settled on like a certain depth or approach to make it happen. You're at 40. Uh, you just started a new account level nine. Nice. Jocks had six squid. Nice. Had three. Yeah. It, once I get belly views, once I get fillet fishing unlocked, I mean, unless I hear different in the meantime, Oh, it's another decent one, 582. Unless I hear different, I'm going to um, probably do the same. Because it, it sounds like the silver is still really good. And plus, like you said, you're leveling up your skills a little faster, potentially, if the bite rate's good. We'll just have to, we'll have to play around with it. But trading huge safe fillet for huge mackerel fillet. Are those baits tradable? I guess it is, huh? We've drifted off the hole again. Oh, not a squid octopus. We're going aggressive here because I want to keep squid fishing in the last 40 minutes. Hopefully we don't lose it with all this aggression. Is there a really, is that a real thing? A colossal, colossal squid? Thirteen point three kilo safe. Wow. Interesting. Biggest type of squid. That's cool. It's a kraken. What's up, Mystic? Yeah, GG everyone. This has been fun. Okay. We have Dead Hedge, Sunja, and Ultra Space. Congrats.
Oops. Thank you all for participating. All right, Dead Hedge is getting the bond 125. 005 and Sanja is getting the bond one twenty five oh oh seven. And Ultra Space, 